I can't imagine how I would feel if I heard the words, you've won a new roof. Well, soon it's going to be reality for somebody here on Delmarva because Delmarva's neediest roof contest is underway thanks to Spicer Brothers Construction. Now, the winner will receive a new GAF Limited Lifetime Roofing System. You have until October 26 to nominate someone, so get on it. For a link to do that and for a complete set of rules, just go to DelmarvaLife.com. Now, before the break, Chef Stephanie Wampal uh, gave us uh, a lesson on how to make crepes. We're actually making peaches and sweet cream crepes. Oh, now, there's going to be plenty more where this came from <laughs> at the first ever King Cole Cannery Celebrity Chef Cook-Off in Milton. It just sounds like fun. Uh, so joining us now to tell us more about that is Dr. Kimberly Fabry, who is the director of the Milton Historical Society. Thank you so much Thanks for, for joining us. Me. Now this is... Well, first we got to taste it. Can we? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. See, I was just going to eat it while she was talking, but... Oh! Okay. I'm going I'm to reach I wonder what you were up to, because I'm like, I yeah. don't like Jimmy to just, like, skip the, the tasting part. Okay. Get... So now. You can have some, too. Oh, oh please <laughs> jump right in. Dive in. And then we'll ask you questions once you get your mouth full. Yeah, okay. that's what we do. Mm-hmm. Oh my grandma. <laughs> Good. That's fantastic. I would never I would never compare that to pancake batter. I don't right. know why. It's just fantastic. It's very thin. Oh it's a little gosh. crispy. <laughs> That's that so is so good. I can double dip because I got my flu shot, right? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right, all right. Oh, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> She's always the first one in. Have you ever noticed that? So this is the first time that you're going to hold an event like this. It is. We're so excited. So what, what do you got planned? We have five celebrity chefs coming. They're going to be at the Milton Fire Hall from 5 to 7 o'clock on this upcoming Saturday, the 15th. Mm -hmm. We have Sh Chef Stephanie. We have Chef Kevin Redding. Uh, Chris Parks from Lupo, Kevin Reddings from Abbott's Grill, um, Brenton Wallace from Crust and Craft, and Jay Caputo from Pilot Town. And they're all going to be cooking great different dishes, and the only requirement we ask of them is that they cook something that contains one of the fruits or vegetables that would have been canned locally at the uh, King Cole Cannery. And that's uh, and that's where it got the name, is the King Cole Cannery. Tell us about that. It is. It's one of the largest employers in Milton. It started in the 1880s and was around until the 1990s. And it had such a huge impact on the town and on Milton and still has an impact because of the Dogfish Head Brewery as well as the residences in the Cannery Village. We just thought to pay homage to it. Mm -hmm. What a great place to name our event in honor of. So all the funds are going to the Milton Historical Society, right? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with it? We are going to use it every day. Anytime you come into the museum, it's free. So you can come in, you can see all of the different stuff that we have. We have a lot of things that still work that you can use. So we have a rope maker, we have a button cutting machine, oh, we have a Vitrola, right. all of which you can use. You can see how things would have been made years ago. And so um, you come into the museum, it's free. It helps us to defray the costs of that. We also have educational programs for children. We have walking tours. These funds help us to make all of those things free to the community, or well, to visitors. And, and you couldn't do it without the community support, and that's where the cook-off comes in. Absolutely. It's yeah. so integral. All right, so, so. tell us uh, the where and the when. It's at the Milton Fire Hall this upcoming Saturday, October the 15th, from 5 to 7 p.m. $25 yeah. ticket? Yep. Nice. Nice. Sounds like fun. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm spitting... Uh, food back out on here. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Go, go in ahead. there. Keep talking. You're doing Because you're getting your you're food <laughs> next. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good luck with Thank the you. event. Thank you so Peaches much. Peaches and cream crepes. I can't. I think I could eat these things all day. I know Jimmy yep. could. But not a good idea if you're trying to watch your weight. Yeah. Definitely. And a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. I imagine every single one of them already knows how tough weight loss can be. So let's help. Today we want to share with you a few easy 100-calorie treats. So what do you think is less than 100 calories? Celery and peanut butter. Probably yogurt. Popcorn. Limiting calories doesn't have to be bland. A mini quesadilla can be less than 100. Try this. One ounce of grated low-fat cheddar cheese over one corn tortilla. Fold it in half and microwave for 20 seconds. Need a fun way to add more fruit? Try frozen banana pops. Slice a few peeled bananas in half and insert a popsicle stick. Cover the banana with one ounce of low-fat plain yogurt and pop them in the freezer. Within an hour, you'll have an 80-calorie fruit snack. For something a little sweeter, try a frozen yogurt sandwich. Spread two tablespoons of non-fat frozen yogurt between two graham cracker squares. And even with chocolate frozen yogurt, it's only 84 calories. And if you don't have two minutes to make one of these, just eat 14 almonds, six whole grain pretzel sticks, or 
one cup of grapes. How tough Not is that? Not grapes. No. I said grapes. Grapes, yeah.